Right guys, Dan Hendrickson here. We are at Torquay Golf Club. Leicester scratch golfer, very, very good golfer. However, he plays in competitions and he comes in after the round and he talks to me about his round. He says maybe that he's played a little bit non-aggressive in the way he's played. So he's kind of cozied it around the golf course, gets it round and around level par. And I always feel that he can do maybe a little bit better than that if he could play a little bit more aggressively in the way he approaches certainly a lot of his tee shots. What's your kind of take on that? Um, Cause you probably tried the aggressive yeah, approach. Yeah, I tried the, the aggressive approach. Um, when the courses are bouncy, I tend to, if I can hit fairways, hit greens, I can shoot level par. When yeah. I start hitting driver, I tend to be all over the shot. Okay. Which, and it makes you a little bit anxious, doesn't it? Well, I just make bogeys and doubles. Whereas yeah. if I hit, play the percentage game, I tend to make pars and the odd bogey. Okay. So for me, there's kind of nothing wrong with that. But on some occasions when I see Leicester play, I think, oh, I'd like to have seen him maybe hit driver down there or not hit an iron off that tee or just gone at it in a slightly different approach. So we're going to play a game against him today. Me against him but he's gonna play, and in the first ball that he plays, or the match that we play against each other, we're gonna do stroke play. He's gonna tee off first with the way he plays, and then I'm gonna tell him how I want him to play. And we're just gonna see what comes out on top. I'm not saying that I'm gonna win or he's gonna win. I'm just really interested to see what the result will be. Let's, uh, let's get out there. I'm gonna start on the back nine at Torquay because it's now early morning it and we've got out ahead of the golf. So um, we're gonna to have to be pretty sharp because they are on our tails already. So what are we doing down here? So it's, it's all downhill, the um, temp at Torquay. Um, I've got three because it's into a slight breeze. Yeah. So I'm gonna aim at that sort of right hand trap and try and hit a slight draw, slight hook at it, try right. and get it on the green. But okay. I'll go for this one generally. You do normally yeah, are always, a little I, bit more positive down I here. Do, I'll go for How, this one, yeah. You never hit iron down here, do you? I do when there's no wind or if it's downwind. I can get there with like two iron or four iron sometimes, right, but okay. it's a three wood today to okay. get there. Well, let's go for it. Cool. Starting up the right hand side here, drawing in. What oh, kind of lost that? Where'd that go? Where's it gone? Towards the bunker, it's pretty good. Oh, there it is, bouncing down there. It's on the green. Has that managed to get down? Oh, yeah. Goodness right, me. Fair shot there. Let's go in. That'll Goodness do. me. How am I going to beat that? That'll do. Let's go. That is off. a great shot. Off. See, he's off. <laughs> Thank you very much. Golf completed. Well done, you. Okay. Um, I'm not sure I'm going to beat that. So I actually want you to play, well, the same shot. Okay. Okay. Is it worth Let's hitting? See if you, yeah, I want All you to right. play. Yeah. yeah. I want you to hit right. kind of the same shot. Okay. Was that like a little bit fiddly? Was that like a little, just a flicky one down there? Uh, it was a good try. It was as good as I could hit it. As good as you could hit it? Yeah. Okay, well let's let's try and do the same again then, please. I hit it probably higher than I normally would, just because of the fact that it's so bouncy down there. So, but I landed it where I was trying to hit yeah, it. Yeah, there is a little puff of wind there now, isn't yeah. there? I like that. Oh, ball keeps falling off the tee. Right, let's um. Well, let's see if you can do that again. No, uh, no sort of sabotaging now. All right. Yeah, it, no. I know it's you against <laughs> me, but it's really you. Okay. All right. So playing a similar approach at the bunker, little draw is the plan. Yeah, that's kind of a similar shot, but gone more at, at the flag this time. So that might be bunker bound down there, mightn't it? But that was again, pretty good strike. Though, yeah, I'll take that. Very good. Right, let's move on. Bunker, found the bunker with my shot. So I'm yeah. in the bunker. Okay. So do you want me to play this aggressively or do you want me to play it into the sort of middle of the green, make, give myself a two part and walk off? Because if you go past that pin, it's dead. Yeah, it is dead, but I think you've got a decent enough skill to leave this couple of feet short of that pin. Okay. I like to play you... you so how would you be playing this a little bit more conservatively? Yeah, if, if, it was, if it was my ball, I'd be playing it almost a touch a touch heavy, touch fat, to leave myself sort of 10 foot short of the pin. Get a four and get on, because there's going to be some easier holes in this. Yeah. Um, I just, I'd just be a bit concerned if I do play it aggressively catch it fractionally thin, it runs through the green, you're gonna make five, six maybe. No, I'm I'm no, I'm feeling that's a little bit of a a negative negative ap approach. 
So I, I definitely want to see you going a little bit more positive on this. I don't I don't want to see a negative approach. I, I would like to. I'm looking to get up and down here. Okay, cool. All right. So um, whereas I'm looking to make four. Whereas you're going with four, which yeah. again it's such a short hole that we want to. You know, you've driven it in the greenside bunker, which is a good drive. Yeah. What club have you got? Fifty-eight. Okay. Yeah. Good. Okay. I want to throw it probably. 10 yards or 10 feet short, 10 paces short of that pin, please. Always on the uh, cautious fat. Call that heavy? Yeah, very heavy. Was it? Yeah. Was that you playing cautious or was that no, just a bad it, shot? No, it was heavy. Was it? Yeah. Okay. I tend to hit them. So you're in the middle of the green now anyway? Yeah. That was just, that was a terrible. You can hold that. <laughs> Right, my me to putt first. Yep. Okay, we need a nice, Straight. nice decent roll. Yeah, I mean this is an outside chance of a birdie, really. Yeah. Straight at it is what we've called. Again, how are you feeling over this? Are you still quite positive? Yeah, I'm, I'm quite positive. It's a, like you say, it's a pretty straight putt, but um. Yeah. I'm still from this distance really looking to two putt it. Okay, you right. want me to be a little bit more aggressive. So Not aggressive, but I definitely want this, you know, I definitely want this past the hole. I don't want to see you sort of lagging it short. I, I want it, you know, a, a, like, a, like a holding pace, you know. It's a good part. That just drifted past. It's a good putt though. Do you putt that one, uh, no, I guess hold your. Uh, let's get back into your. So it's your. It's now your honour. Yeah. So you got this for a two. Yeah. So how are you feeling on this now? You must be feeling quite positive. Yeah. It's, it's not. It's right edge really. It's not a lot in it. Okay. Um, I'm slightly more uphill than I was on the on the putt that from your ball. And are you thinking right? I'm just gonna. I want a two putt for birdie here. Or are you I'm, thinking right? I've got a great yeah, tee shot. Let's get a two and move on. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking I'm not going to free whack this. That's the first thing. So it's not going to be going at pace past the hole. It's going to yeah. be rolling to the edge of the hole. Yeah, you're if it, let it fall yeah, in. Yeah, yeah. If, it, if it doesn't quite make, you know, I'll take a free generally on this. I like that. Tea, but I, I guess like what you're that. saying is I should be a little bit more positive if make, thinking of making this. Well, no, I, I, I think you're right in where you've approached that. I'd like to see this falling in rather than like the putt yeah. we've just hit there. Falling in, falling in. Oh, that, now that's a very good putt. That I would say is the perfect pace for that particular putt. And that is your three. Well done. So solid, solid start for you there. Yep. Right, let's see how you get on just knocking this one in for us. Again, this is not my length. Oh. I haven't seen, you haven't called a length yet that you like. No. There isn't one. Is there not a length, there's no, not a length you like. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you got you got a good read off of it as it went past the yeah. cut, didn't you? And that's that's quite an important little notice there for people. Is if they do hit a putt which they're not overly happy with, don't just keep an eye on it. Make sure you keep an eye on it as it goes past the hole. Pretty straight, I'd say. Come on then, roll it in. Ooh, just pushed it out there, didn't you? Yeah. Pushed it out there. Right, so I am one over par and you are one under par. Interesting way of playing that hole. Yeah. 11th hole, Torquay's old 10th for those who haven't been here for a few years. Um, par 4, big dog leg around the corner. Yeah. You're always hitting three wood down here? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to start it at the right hand trees. Yes. And then hit a slight slinger back. Because the so, fairway slopes massively left to right. Yep. Yeah, so you're trying to draw it into the draw slope. It. Yeah. Correct. So draw it off those trees on the on the yeah. right here, drawing it into the slope. Yeah. Yeah. I love that play, and that's going to be with three, three wood, yeah? wood. Yeah. Okay. When would you ever hit driver down here? Not very often in the summer. Winter no. I would because I want you. You can't get up in two without. A drive. No, you need to get it out there a little bit. But um, day like this now, I'll just hit three wood. Okay. Like that. Cool. 
Oh, your game is on it today. Perfect. Your game is on it today. See that down on the left side there, and then it should be bouncing right down, down towards the right edge of the fairway there. Great shot, that. Okay, my go now. Okay. And I want you to hit driver. Yeah. Because I want to get it a little bit further up there, because it does open up a little bit. Yeah. Now, you're more of a drawer with the fairway wood, but you yeah. tend to like to fade the driver, yeah? Yeah, I tend not to have much control when I'm hitting it right to left with a driver. Okay. So what I want to do now is start it on the trees on the left side here. Yeah. And then just hit it as straight or as a little fade as you possibly can for okay. me. Okay? Yep. Again, be positive. Let me worry about the result, all right? Well, that's perfect. Absolutely perfect. Started it on the left edge of those trees, just drifting down now. That should now run down to kind of this flattish area over here. And that should leave us in a decent spot. Actually, with the shape differences with fairway to driver, not going to see a massive difference, I don't think, but we'll see when we get up there. This is my driver, One's, isn't it? Yeah, this is your driver. So That's we've clipped, which you probably may have seen in the um, in the viewfinder off the tee, but I didn't see it. I couldn't no. quite see that through the light. But Shame. that drop down to there, but your three wood is about level with us, isn't it? Yeah. It's down there on the on the right hand side over there. So how far we got? One, one six, six two. two to the flag. Is that flag on the front? Uh, the red flag, is that front? I can't remember, what, I don't even know what the flag is. Yeah, I think it's front, front isn't it? Yeah, front is front. Okay, so one, six, two, and that's Very front bouncing. right, isn't it? Yeah. Um, so what are you thinking here? You it's don't a, want to be landing this on the green, do you? No, it's a, it's a seven or eight iron up the left side and it bounced down. Okay, I so like it, eight iron. Like eight iron, okay. I think eight iron. I mean, I think you could actually probably even get a nine iron there. I think it's a big nine. Um, yeah, I think it is a big nine. Just a, I think it's just a nice nice eight iron. It's a bit of a side slope as well. Yeah, so and, and there's a big, hit. the biggest tree right here is kind of where I want it to start and then let it filter in. You don't want to be further left than that. No, I want it to kind of come down on that tree. Is really what okay. I what I want to get from this. Right. And then again, nice positive ball, really below his feet here. You're going to do anything different here, Bernie, for that? Just, I'm just going to try and make sure I hold it up to the left hand side. Okay, so my you're not going to try. And, you're going, going to almost be... fight the slope rather than work with it. With this, there's a bunker short right. Yeah. So if I'm going to miss it, I want to miss it left because it'll still kick in. Yeah, it'll bounce the green. in off there from there. Yeah. So. I'm really going to Try and make sure I do miss it left. I'll probably miss okay. it right now. Just trust it. Slightly yeah, thin. good. Little, little clean. So that will okay. come down on the left edge of those trees there, and then should filter down towards that pin, which is just there. It was a better line than strike. Same yeah, it thing. was. It was a bit clean, but that's yeah. still with the ball below your feet that much. I expect it to catch it maybe just a fraction cleaner than um, than normal. Right, let's go and find your three wood. One fifty two called. Yeah. So you're ten paces up from where we were over there with the driver. Yeah. Again, that driver hitting the. See, I think the driver would have ended up kind of on this plateau here, which is quite a wide open spot. Yeah. If the trees hadn't got in the way, but still a decent shot. Right. What have we got? Eight iron as well. Eight iron, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to keep the same club. Um, I'm going to hit a little bit more control. Yeah. Just pop it up the left side and let it feed down. So similar shot, but obviously coming at a slightly different angle. Yeah. Ball still below his feet here. So again, you're just going to work against the slope, are you? Yeah. Okay. Again, much better strike there. It should just, Be again, green, should just thought. bounce down towards that pin over there. Not going to see it down, but again, much better yeah, strike that time. Strike, yeah, it was a slightly flatter lie down here, wasn't it? Slightly flatter, but I th just think it's you against me all the time, isn't it? You just want to, <laughs> you just, you just want to win. <laughs> Walking up onto the green, whose is that? What's this one? That's a dotted one. Whose is so? Whose is this? So that's my first one. Oh yeah, that's that's me. No, that's you. Oh, I'm over there. Yeah. Oh, so this is your three wood. There's your pitch mark. Oh no, there's your pitch mark. Yeah, landed it on the green, which was um. Landed it on the green and stopped it. I mean, that's I suppose the beauty of coming in with nice soft greens it's coming out of. It's um, a little bit unlucky not to feed down. Actually. Firm fairways, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that is very unlucky. There's a big, 
big slope running all the way down there. He only needed one probably little roll and it would have got down towards the pin. If we head over to my ball, I mean this, I would be happy with this yeah, based definitely. on where you are coming in with the club that you've got there. I'd be actually quite happy you've got now a pretty flat putt. It's one of the hardest coming up the through there. One of the longest, so. Yeah. What are we reading this then? I'm reading this probably half a cup on the right hand side. Okay, I like that as well, so like let's that? let's go with that. Okay. Do you want me to be aggressive with it or do you want me to No, again this is not you know, you're not you're not looking to really hammer in birdies here, you're trying to no, too far you know, that putt you hit on the last where you were sort of dying it in, that's kind of what we want really from this. Go a bit, go a bit, go a bit. Really good putt. That's a good putt, and again, in a competition, I'd be more than happy with that. Really an outside chance of any type of birdie there. Big, yeah, it can all run away if you get it a bit wrong. Well done, good par. Coming in from this, there's a big slope here. Big slope down here, big slope here, coming down. Going in from the left hand side, but again, there's going to be easier putts on the back nine than this. Yep. And I'm one under par, so... I'm going to hit it pretty straight, maybe left edge, but with no pace whatsoever. Okay. I'm literally going to get to the brow of the hill and let it just trickle down. Yeah. Just going to barely get it going, really, off the top of that slope, and then you'll watch it, it'll just trickle all the way down towards the cup. These can get away from you a little bit. Part. Didn't quite give it enough break, but again, Cozied it down there quite nicely. It wasn't, it wasn't my best effort. No, well, you just didn't get it started on the right line, did you? But it was still, um, you know, for this hole, Take a it's no kind of damage done, isn't it? No. Well done. Right, we move on. Well, just a quick one, actually, before we move on. You just yep. said there at the top there, you said I'm one under par. Yeah. So you're you're thinking about your score, like, all the time, are you? Is it something yeah, that's I mean, in that, your mind? That that will dictate a little bit how I play. Yeah. So if I if I made a double on the on the um, on the eleventh on so on the tenth yeah. and I was two over I probably would have made got that past the hole yeah. potentially because I'm trying to still trying to win stuff still trying to maintain a handicap um, but because my score's decent I'd be happy with a four there I was slightly out of position with my with my putt yeah. it was one of the harder but I could easily free putt that yeah so just plotting so your plotting way around, it around yeah so more. yeah okay. No, you like that or not? Yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I don't. I don't dislike anything. You, I mean, at the end yeah. of the day, you play off scratch, so I'm not yeah. going to dislike anything you say. No. I'm just more intrigued as to what goes on in your mind compared to what would go on yeah. in my mind. You know. I mean, because obviously I've got a handicap, so I'm trying to maintain handicap. Yeah. So you're so thinking about that. Playing on Saturday, I'm playing a stable field. I'm not realistically going to shoot ten under par gross, or I'm not yeah. going to shoot under par gross to win the actual thing. But I'm trying to maintain, I'm off point four, so I'm trying to maintain my scratch handicap for another competition. Okay. That's what I'm trying to do. Yeah. Par three, twelfth hole. Twelfth hole, yeah. One, six, six, six. is called. We're off the back tee here. Pin's a little bit tucked, isn't it? Uh, the pin is tucked on that right hand side. If I get up in there, you can see where that pin is. Just tucked in on that right hand side there. What are you thinking here? So, is it your honour? Because yeah. you're, you're one under par, I'm one over par. To me, that pin is not really accessible. Okay. So I'm going to um, try and hit a little less club. So I'm hitting a nine iron instead of an eight. Yeah. It's eight yardage, really. And then we'll try and hit it short left into the middle of that green to give myself the best chance of making the part up the hill. Okay. But also a good opportunity to make three. Did you say you're hitting nine? Hitting nine, yeah. Yeah, okay. Well, let's see if it. If I then. was going at it, I'd hit eight, but I don't think it's. It's not a pin that you're sort of going to chase. Not there, yet. not with that bunker stood there. If I hit that bunker, you're making. Generally, you probably make four. Yeah, it all runs away out of that bunker so as well. I'm just so. going to try and hit it sort of straight at the pin, just left of the pin, because yeah. the wind drift it. Okay. And then hit in the middle of the green. That's Go the idea. It. Go for it. Started it a little bit left, started it on that sort of left Not bunker the there. Yeah, sure. yeah. Where is that? Bunker. That's in that middle bunker, is it? Yeah. Okay. Didn't it very well. I mean, to be fair, now with me, obviously, if I was playing against you in an event, I'm going to be mindful of what you're hitting. Yeah. So I would take notice. I mean, I, I listened to it. The strike probably wasn't your best strike. No. Um, no it was, 
I slightly tugged it and hit it slightly, uh, slightly thin. So yeah. Didn't have much. It was supposed to be ten yards further right of that, so it would be. It would if it was short, it would have bounced and bounced onto okay. the green. But yeah, it wasn't a very good shot. Based on the fact that when you came into the last hole, yeah. that eight iron stopped really nice and quickly, I'm going to yeah. get you to hit eight. And this is, this is me being. If I was playing against you right yeah. now, I would be taking really an idea, getting an idea of what you're doing, what irons you're hitting, and how you're hitting it. So, to be honest, I was where I club if myself. I was hitting it again, I hit iron. Yeah, so eight irons the yeah. call, and I want you to go. Can you see that tree in the background? Right in the background there, there's a, that tree there, just to the left of the flag. Yes, yeah. Um, I want you to sort of just start it, go straight at that, okay. is what I want to yeah. see from you on this particular shot. Um, no real shape, unless you're no. feeling a shape today, are you? Not really, no. No, just so no real shape, okay. just go straight at that. Yeah. Straight at that um, tree for me. Oh, a little bit tuggy as well. That's got to come down because that could be in trouble. In the left trap now, is it? Okay. It's on the edge of the green. You're a bit tuggy. You've got the tugs. Captain. Didn't want to miss it right. I'm probably a bit conscious of that, I guess. Captain Tugger. Yeah. But nicely just popped out of your little pitch mark there, Bernie. So that was all right. Not a very good shot, but. No, that's all right. But I think both of the misses that we've got, and your mine's in the bunker over here. But both the misses, you've left yourself lots of green to work with. Yeah. So not a bad, not a bad miss. Ideally, here I'd want to leave myself coming up the slope for my putt. Yeah. Um, but I'm going to play it really aggressively because of the fact there's not a lot behind. You're going to say what? So play that aggressively. I'm going to play it quite aggressively, just because of the fact there's not a lot behind. If I do hit it slightly thin, I get behind the hole I'm still going to probably make four yeah okay whereas right Bernie going to be aggressive on this oh yeah a little too far there just now he left himself a bit of a downhiller uh happy or not happy with that no not happy with that okay it is a tricky putt yeah let's see if we can get up down with mine Right, I actually thought you'd got in the bunker, yeah. but we're not, are we? We're just a little bit short. That's amazing how you've kept it there from that down slope. Yeah, it's, it's quite soft around the yeah. greens here today. Right, uphill, nine it's basically straight up, and I've asked you yeah. to play a 9 iron. Now, you said that you would play this a little bit more with a 7 iron or an 8 iron. Yeah. Um, this is just kind of my choice, I suppose. But yeah. I, And again, I, I, in a way, I'm not that bothered whether I don't want this going past the pin. No, okay. So I'm, I'm looking to leave myself a three, two to three feet up the hill. A little bit from the left, do you want it? Fractionally, not not massively, because I don't right. mind if it swings to the right of the hole. Be nice and positive though. That's a pretty good chip. Yeah, I would yeah. take that. Yeah. It's left yourself a little bit of a swinger because it didn't move, did it? Yeah, as much tainted. as I thought it would. I thought it was going to kick a little bit right, but it didn't. It yeah, no, right. but still a decent position to leave ourselves. The down the hill, what are you reading here? So, this has got a fraction of break from the right, but it could be a bit quick once it gets past the hole. So, yeah. I'm going to die this. Okay, you're going to die this in. So okay, we'll just again, not, not, not being overly aggressive with the putt. Nope. It's, quite a, it's quite a bit of downhill, and these greens are relatively quick at the moment this time of year. Talky. That's a good putt. Has it got enough? Has it got enough? Oh! Just a bit of juice stops it. Is that what it was? Just a little bit on the cautious side, but I understand why. I didn't need much more to get flying past that cut. Right, this is just a tap in, really, isn't it? Is it? <laughs> <laughs> if you say so. Yeah, just tap this one in. Okay. Just a test. Tap it in. Just tap it in. Giving it much read? It should be, it should be left centre, really. Yeah, left to centre. I like that. Yeah, well done. Right, here we go. Okay, so end of part one. I am one over par, and Lester is level par. You birdied the first, and then, or the first or our tenth, tenth our first, and then just dropped one on the last there where he started off with a bogey with me and then finished, finished off with two pars there. How are you feeling after those first three holes? And more, more about how you're feeling yeah. the way I've asked you to play. Okay. 
Yeah, I'd be, I'd obviously be a little bit nothing to do with the way you've made me play, but the, the on obviously on the tent to make a to make a boat three putt bogey, that I'd be a little bit gutted about. Yeah. Um, so yeah, have you that, let that? Have you let, yeah, I mean, you let I, that go? If I two putted it, I'd have been quite happy with that start. Yeah. Um, same as the last hole, I really should have been making three on that hole. It's not a difficult hole. Yeah. Um, so I'm obviously just a little bit disappointed making making a bogey there. So mixed mixed emotions. Mixed really, emotions. Yeah. But, but to be honest with you, being level par and one over par through three holes. You can bounce when, that back out. Yeah, right we've got, we got a par five in the next part, come straight up, so yeah. there's an opportunity for a birdie. Um, yeah, so I wouldn't be overly disappointed. Okay, so quite happy at the yeah. moment with where you're at. Yeah. Right, that's the end of part one. We'll see you all tomorrow, same time. Have a good evening.